Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the BYU Cougars. We've got two excellent shooting guards set to go head-to-head -to -head tonight. Number 30, the guy that really shoots the basketball. He's got a great stroke. His counterpart tonight is a sharp shooting three-point specialist that can shoot it with the best of them. It should be an interesting matchup to watch. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The Cougars looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. Number one, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Next, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And he missed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Down inside, number 42 with the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Goes in. He keeps his dribble as they reset. High post screen. And up. Perfectly executed. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, try to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Now trying to feed the low block. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dumping inside. Number 22 gets the pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 10, pump fakes. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Def and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The lay -in. For two, in and out. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Can't get the shot to go. They go into the low block. Number 10 takes the feed for the bucket. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The shooting guard gets the ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Oh, yes. Trying to feed the low block. Controlling the ball. He looks for three. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the three. Comes up short. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Number two takes the pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number 30 picks up the foul. First personal foul. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? There's the rejection. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. BYU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The frustration right there. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Off the rim and no good. Turns it over. Pushes it up. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. High post screen, so effective that screen. Looking for a good shot. For three, way off target. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Space and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Defensively down on low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. BYU are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Number 45 is emotionally pumped up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They run him right into the screen again. What did I say? For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed, and who will really step up? Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player.
Tries for two and off the mark. The kick out. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. Puts it up looking for contact. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. He intercepts it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And they get the turnover. Leans in. Number two makes the finger roll. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work the perimeter. He launches a three. Makes the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17. With a rejection. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Side. He's got some room. He's got a nice shot fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. He takes it away. Here they go into the break. Number two steals the ball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Looking for the foul. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Goes up for two. And he missed. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the trap. He fires from long range. Way off target. The kick out. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Nice high post screen. Gonzaga is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now.
On the low block, trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. On the inside, fakes it. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. that opportunity either. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They still don't score. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two, can't get the shot to go. There's been nearly perfect defense so far out there tonight, Dick. I can't imagine any complaints from the coaching staff. He goes for three, off the rim and no good. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. Transition opportunity coming up. Number 15 makes a great move to draw the foul. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Crowd, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Makes the foul shot. Makes those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kicked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside. There it is, Jam City. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. From left of the circle, way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two, and off the mark. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. With the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Work 
get inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Nice fake. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Double team now, bad angle. And in and out. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. It's good. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside, he puts up the tray. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, maybe, for the good luck. He pump fakes. Good job defensively. Shot clock is dead. Trying to draw some contact. He gets it to go. Takes away the pass. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. From right of the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are up by seven. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. BYU came up huge on the boards in the first half. You're right, Brad. They were extremely productive on cleaning the glass. They were like the Windex man, man. They were cleaning the glass. If you control the glass, you win the ball game, baby. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. I'll tell you, really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. And he scores despite the hack. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. There's the pick. Perfectly executed. He does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. With a jump hook. 
I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Entry pass in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. They work the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He drains the bucket. The Bulldogs trail by nine. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'll work it around the arc from way outside. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's open if he wants the shot from beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. Keep your eye right on the ball here. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now, my goodness. That spin move's not gonna work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The fans are really pleased with what's taking place here. What a response, what enthusiasm. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Got a wide open look. They move it into the front court. Drains it. On the dribble, gives it up. Number two is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 24 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. He is going to the line. He makes it. Drained it. 
Nothing but nylon, MBN. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Jumped in front to take it away. Dump it inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. The center in the paint. Number 22 grabs it. Tries for two. He shows the sweet touch. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Good fake. He goes with a baby hook and off the mark. Momentary look from three-point land. Number 44 draws the personal. And we'll go to the free throw line. Misses the first. Misses both of them. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? Gave it up with the jump hook. Doesn't go. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For two, they still don't score. Goes. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. Executes the baby hook. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. On the dribble, gives it up. Bucket can't get the shot to drop. Looking for a good shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Gave it up. The pressure that basketball help one another. Communicate. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He gets it to fall. Look at this effort. There's a double team waiting there. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Here's a double team. And in and out. Intercepted. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. In and out. That one's 
blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gonzaga are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. the dribble gives it up that spin moves not gonna work against this defense That's enough. and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot he's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone <laughs> hey sure he is I can hear starting from here <laughs> wide open for the shot number 10 is called for the foul and he's gonna pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face I tell you what he's disgusted but so is his coach the free throw line opportunity he sinks it they're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight Dick yeah they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day it's the second shot that's a nine nothing run makes them all Dick they're really getting it done from the line tonight aren't they and a surprisingly collective effort Brad see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He lets it go way off target. They work it around the perimeter. Number 42 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, both coaching staffs expected this to be an even matchup. Who will throw the first punch, and how will the other react? Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. Gave it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. They work the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul there. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gonzaga are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the outside, goes up for two. And he missed. Up, easy one. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista off in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. There's the screen up on top. Puts it up. Drains the shot. Way out on top. Control swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. That's an eight zip run. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They work it back to the outside. For the bucket. You bet. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gonzaga are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Dumps it in. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fake. For the deuce. Rims out. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. No good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He used the screen perfectly to put it the inside hoop. Long lead pass. High post flashes. Picked off. Gave it up. The shooting guard receives the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gonzaga have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Robs him of the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Up and in. Gave it up. He gives him the fake. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, you're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. the perimeter goes up for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps he made good use of the screen but the shot fell off Takes away the pass. Pushes it. Great defense. Try to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots. Rims out. Pulls down the board. And have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Great job getting back defensively. He comes away with it. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The center handles the feed. Can't get the shot to go. Timeout, George. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down for the last ticks, baby. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Obvious foul. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Go to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one.
He misses the second shot. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. He attempts the trifecta. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. To the charity strike. Well, the arc looked good. Pulls it down. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. This is what posters are made from. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. S-T-O-P. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop. He rejects it. And we are headed for overtime. I hope not too many fans gave up their seats, Brad. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. And we're off into overtime. This is when the ball has come to play, baby. They're working around the arc. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires away. Makes it. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. The power forward receives the pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They work it around the perimeter. The point guard handles the pass. He takes the shot off the baseline. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's electrifying in here. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Hits that one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Hits his second. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He puts it up. It's no good. For the deuce. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He throws up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Now the turnaround jumper. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He launches a three, rims out. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He makes the block. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Timeout's been called, so let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. There's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Moving it around the perimeter. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 10 steps to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. No doubt. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they change things up a little bit, Brad. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Tempo of the game is really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment? Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. He launches the bomb. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. 
Dick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. Well, that's how you win. You've got to execute as a team. You've got to make sure the right people shoot the shot. And I'll tell you, the PTPers responded, but they responded with good team concept. BYU takes the victory in overtime. The team has got to feel good about a win like this. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.